Hey everyone, Rick again with Dynocom. Now that we've gone over some mode one tests, we're gonna get into some mode two testing using the software, show you how to set that up. We're gonna do three basic tests really quick. A gear roll-on, roll-on with interpolated load, and a PAU ramp test. So let's get started. So before we get to our session and set up the vehicle, one quick thing we want to point out for you guys is go under setup, load, and then check out this screen. On this screen, this base load percent. You may want to change this number depending on how powerful the car is. For this particular car, we're going to stick with the default 5%. And what that does is it always keeps a 5% load on the dyno whether you're just getting up to speed to start a test or once the test is over, you've got that 5% just to help slow the vehicle down. Another important thing to have checked, use hardware interpolation. You wanna make sure when using pods, that is checked. After that setup, everything is pretty basic. Create the session, Th this vehicle we've already entered. So we bring up the previous information. This is very important on pod dynos. We measured the tire. It is very important that you enter the total tire diameter in this box. You will not see this on the chassis dyno software, only the pods. Click next, enter the vehicle's owner. We are gonna use Dynocom. Now our session is created. Now that the session is created, our first test, new run. That's gonna pull up our box for all the different run types and we're just gonna do the basic gear roll on. Set our static load at 30%. General rule of thumb is about 25% load per 500 horsepower. Now there's gonna be some other factors that can change this via what the vehicle makes for power, the final gear ratio, and of course, the size of the hub dynos of which you have purchased. And we're going to use gear ratio. You can use optical or plug an injector like we had it. You just have to set that up on the handheld. For this test, we're gonna use gear ratio. And I'll do a fifth gear test, which is 1.52 is the ratio on that gear. So we have to take that times our rear end ratio, which is approximately 2.8 to give us a 4.25, which is what is entered here. And we can call this our baseline. And we are ready to go. For our next test, we're gonna do an interpolated load. So we'll select new run, gear roll on, interpolated. Now this is where it can be tricky and it is not easy to just pull these numbers out of the air and set this up. So you have to be patient and it may take you a few tries to get it exactly where you want it. For this particular car, we are going to do 10% at 30, 20% at 70, 25, at 100, and 30 at 120. And a 
of course, interplay load over speed. Select next. We're gonna use gear ratio once again. Make sure our numbers are still good. And this can be our roll on interpolated. So now that our interpolated run is done, I wanted to show you guys real quick. PAU command, and then none. And you can see how it followed our interpolate settings, because I had the car go real low down about 30 miles an hour in our fifth gear to start us at our 10% that we entered. And the PAU slowly ramped up as our axle speed went up. Now remember what I was telling you, if you don't think you got the ratio correct and your RPMs are not lining up, you right click down here, edit run, and this is where you can change it. And you're gonna see torque change and it's gonna move your scale to correct your RPM values. For our next test, we're gonna do a ramp test using axle speed, or known as a PAU ramp test. So new run. Scroll down to PAU ramp. Now that we have selected PAU ramp test, it's gonna take you to this screen. Again, some of this stuff is, you're not gonna get right on your very first try, especially with a pod. But we'll use kind of our basic, well-known settings that seem to get us pretty close, at least on the, on the first go around. We're gonna use an accelerate of 15 miles an hour. Higher horsepower vehicles, you'll want to change this rate of acceleration to something faster, but vehicles in the 4 to 600 horsepower range, the acceleration rate between 12 and 18 miles per hour per second is pretty normal. Select gear ratio. We already have this set up from our previous tests. And again, if you're gonna select a different gear, you just have to enter the correct ratio and that can be edited at the end of the run, which you've seen before. We will name this PAU ramp. Make sure the temporary hold on start is selected. The default time is five seconds. You can change that to whatever you would like. I'll leave it at the default and what that does is once we hit the go button, the dyno will hold us at that axle speed for five seconds and get everything a chance to catch up and be ready to make the run. Quick finish we're ready to begin the test. Here are the results from our PAU ramp test. Now it should be pretty well known that as we slow down the acceleration rate, 
the car is going to produce less power. Depending on the engine configuration and all that, whether it's NA or boosted, um, it, you're probably going to lose power. So the car being somewhat heat soaked, we did, we did lose a little bit of power, but the main thing is our PAU ramp. So we'll check out acceleration, changes to none. We set it at 15 seconds and our max was 14.4. So Dino did a pretty good job of holding us back at the exact ramp that we wanted.